Mr. Evelyn, would you just say a quick word? We only have 10 minutes on the satellite. Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, I just want to say that all the years that I worked with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad before he asked me to be his wife, there was never any kind of out of turn words, no sexual harassment. He treated us with the highest form of dignity and respect. When he came to me and asked me to be his wife, he sat down, as our beloved Brother Minister Farrakhan said, and opened the Holy Quran to the place where it dealt with the wives. He loved his wife, Sister Clara Muhammad, and his children. But he said Allah was forcing him to do this for future generations. There's much I could say, but I want you to know that he was an honorable man. He is an honorable man, and he stood for the respect of all black women around the world. This is his daughter from Sister Evelyn Muhammad, the one you saw in the movie that Evelyn was holding in her arm. This is the daughter. My son married this daughter and produced six children. Five sons and one daughter. And these are the grandchildren of Elijah Muhammad and the grandchildren of Louis Farrakhan. They are brilliant and I see in them the spark of their grandfather and their ages old great grandparents that they will be lights among the people sister Ola Muhammad would you step forward please and where's your son come this is her son Kamal Kamal is one of the first are you the first He's the first? first son. Oh, he's the first son of the second generation. And this son was uh, on the mercantile? What is it? Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Chicago Mercantile Exchange. How old were you when, when you were on there? 24. 24 years old. You're just now about 20? 32. 32. 32 years. Now look at his face. Look at the light in him. Look at his mother. These are not cheap people. This is what God is doing. My brother Hannibal Afrik sits here. He's a student of African culture. You go to Africa, you see the chiefs. They got wives and they got children and nobody's accusing the chief of being a cheap man in Africa, in Asia, and among all the societies of our people. Is that the truth, brother? Sister Ola, would you have a word? Assalamu alaikum. I like to tell you that I agree and bear witness with Minister Farrakhan. I'm a South Side of Chicago, raised and born. I work with you in the community. At daycare, I'm a registered nurse. I come and see many of you often. I bear witness that everything Elijah ever taught us about eating, cleaning, Raising our children was truth. I am a product of the Interest School of Chicago, yet I could talk to scholars. I've raised my son as he instructed me to do, and I am quite pleased with the life that he has given to me over 40 something years. and in the hospitals and communities with people, they think I'm 32. My son is 32. This is because of the great teaching that our messenger, my husband, brought to you, all of us. The wrong foods we eat raise the blood pressure, give you diabetes, high blood pressure. Once you get high blood pressure, you're definitely going to have kidney failure at an early death. Elijah Muhammad said, drop that swine. <laughs> it's making you ugly and it's killing you. Now we have Minister Louis Farrakhan picking up the banner. Yes. 
carried on with this great teacher that we all need. Elijah gave him the keys. Malcolm never had enough knowledge to hold the keys. He did not have it. And I'm sorry to say, as my husband said, he died lost and a hypocrite. Thank you. I saw him away. Thank you. Sister Ola Muhammad and the National Secretary of the Nation, the son of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and his wife is my daughter. Here she is. The blood have joined. Farrakhan and Muhammad have become one. That's what he wanted. That's what he has. Now, do we look like some crazy, silly, sick? No. No. These are righteous people. And having wives, which I wouldn't advise nobody to do this. Don't you run into a Elijah head wives. I'm going to get me some. Don't you do that. Or you probably can't take care of the one you got. So you better first take care of the one you have. If you're faithful over little, maybe God one day will make you ruler. 